Hey everyone, it's the Drive to School podcast. Welcome to a brand new season. We're going to drive to school and we're going to talk about theology. We're going to talk about the things that you have to think about. We're going to talk about the things that are going on and where to find Christ in it, how to answer it with hope. Uh, joining me today, Pastor Mark Schomberger. How are you, my friend? I'm doing great. It's good yeah. to see you. Uh, last year, we were doing a fun little series called Wrong Questions Only. And it's sort of this idea that if you're asking the wrong question, you're never going to actually get to the right answer. But the wrong question is a lot of times really tempting to ask. Uh, and, and well, we, we need to unpack it. Every time we've done it, though, we've, we've noticed that there's, there's almost a, a propensity to lean on the law instead of the gospel. It's almost like we're, we're sort of wired that way that we want to save ourselves by our works. Uh, so today, wrong question only. Pastor, how do I make all of this make sense? Um, well, I, I believe I can't. That's my catechism. Say more. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, and so, so I can't. And, and we want it so bad because we want to we want to control it. We want to wrap our heads around it. We love logic. And those things in, in the left hand kingdom in the temporary world we mm. live in and the natural world, so to speak, however you want to look at it. I mean, we get that. Right. Right. I mean, and that's good. For instance, if I don't know how to do math, I can't balance my checkbook. I, I have no idea. Well, no one right. uses a checkbook anymore, but you know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. um, well, but I mean, it's even just as the world would speak about us. Like, I just don't want to sound dumb. And if I could sort of find the right way to explain this, everyone would believe it and stop thinking less of me. And, and Lord have mercy. Right. And well, and so I, I think the biggest thing is that, uh, Faith and reason are distinct. They are not mm. the same thing. And yeah. we can't confuse them. Uh, and, you know, th through faith, one of the fruits of faith is that our reason can, can be of service to us, you mm. know, the new, for the new man. Mm -hmm. um, in that, you know, we know how to read. And so that helps us uh, to, to read the Bible, to hear it, to know grammar and things like that. But uh, my reason is always in service of that faith, hmm. right? And okay. uh, it's we're we're saved through faith, not through reason, and that's why the catechism speaks the way it does, uh, because my natural reason finds the gospel and the things of Christ and the articles of faith foolishness. Mm -hmm. And and that's why that's part of what Paul's talking about to the Corinthian church, right? Right. So uh, he, uh, the, the Jews seek signs, the Greeks seek wisdom, but we preach Christ crucified, which is folly and, and a stumbling block. But to those who are being saved, Christ, the power of God, the, the wisdom of God. Um, the catechism is, I believe I cannot by my own reason or strength believe in Jesus Christ, my Lord, to come, but the Holy Spirit has called me by the, the gospel. Um, yes. And so I, I think maybe there's two ways we can start to look at this because you do have faith and you do have reason and these are not opposed, but they just need to put, put in the right order. So it's a simple exactly. question, really. Who is smarter? You are God almighty who is all-knowing all-powerful maker of heaven and earth if you're smarter than your god you should get a better god but if god is smarter and he spoke to you then when we have scripture and reason maybe they don't are they don't equal each other which way which one comes first and why yeah well actually the word understanding huh yeah it's literally to sit under right right and so so uh I, I'm informed by uh, my my reason is corrected by the scripture always, Good. and anything that uh, in the scripture that's given to me that's against my reason, that just means that I just have to say, "All right, that's that's what it means to have an article of faith." You know, um, the biggest thing uh, we have the incarnation of Jesus, which nobody understands. Right, one hundred percent plus one hundred percent equals two hundred percent to our reason. God, and Jesus man is, is perfect. God and perfect man, holy God and holy man, not right. fifty fifty. Yeah, that's weird. Not fifty fifty. <laughs> it's one hundred one hundred. And so that's uh, math is good in the world, but not with with articles of faith. Father, the, the Son, Holy God, Spirit, three and one. <laughs> yeah. There's another one. Um, well, and and just. Uh, just the uh, the article of justification, how I can be clean before a holy God uh, by grace through faith, not of myself, but as a free gift, mm -hmm. it doesn't make any sense to me. 
Right. And so you can fall right off the other side of the horse then and say reason is terrible and and just shut up and read the Bible and never Absolutely. think about anything. Definitely never think about your faith. Never meditate upon the promises. Never actually see where this would apply and just sort of stick your head in the sand whenever anybody actually asks a question that is challenging to it. We, we still want to have reason. But reason serves so um, that this uh, the, the dogmatics, the dogmaticians, they, they would say that uh, magisterial and ministerial uh, yeah. uses of, of scripture and reason. So magistrates, they rule and, and ministers, they serve. You're a servant. I'm a servant. So scripture is magisterial. It, it rules and reason is ministerial. It, it, it serves. No, absolutely. And, and I, I, rather than coming up with all the categories of reason, which I find confusing, uh, but, you know, like you said, people, we, we like categories, especially mm -hmm. if this is all you're doing is studying this stuff. That's fine. Yeah. But, uh, you know, just what, what is it that we do and are given to do as, as Christians, as those who are served by Christ, right? Mm -hmm. Is that we're given to, to love and serve one another, our neighbor. Right. And so uh, one of the ways that we do that is, is even, even our thinking mm -hmm. becomes a way of, of serving you, hmm. my neighbor, um, in yeah. that yeah. now I know, like, I, I want to be, for instance, uh, uh, great at my craft so I can serve those who God's given me to serve in whatever vocation I have, and also my family, and also mm -hmm. my friends, so that I can be of help to them, be of service to them. If you're a songwriter, for example, you, you're going to want to learn how to study music, learn your craft, use your brain, use uh, what, whatever gifts that you have uh, in order to be of service to another. And our reason is sort of part of that. Right. I think the problem with the reason is that we want to sort of replace uh, the father with the reason so that we can, we're, we're convinced we can do a better job of this than him. It's it's honestly, uh, it, it's a little bit because we have a God who is our, our father in heaven. And, and so we, we're allowed to sort of carry this forward. I swore I was never going to be the parent that said, because I said so. Like I, growing <laughs> up, I was like, this will not be, this is right. dumb. And then I tried to reason with a toddler and, and like sooner, you just have to acknowledge, I know things you don't know. I'm not going to be able to convince you, but also who am I? I love you. I trust you. I am smarter than you as a toddler. You're going to catch up and surpass me for sure. But like right now I'm smarter than you. So what I need you to do is hear me. I'm saying this, the things you think about are how to be nice to your sister. Um, yeah, that that's brilliant. Um, so, so in the same way, then uh, every once in a while, God will tell you a thing that you can't understand. And that doesn't mean that it's not true. It just means that God is smarter than you. He is able to make bread and wine, his body and blood. You can't do that. He's able to rise from the dead. You can't do that. But that just doesn't mean it ignore the people who can. It means maybe try and listen to them. No, exactly. And and part of that, too, is our issue. What, what we do is we turn, uh, you talked about wanting to turn them into things that are, uh, are articles of reason, so to speak. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. take, take like the Lord's Supper and say, well, how do uh, I make it I make sense? Under, yeah, make sense of it. And or whatever the mystery is, of God that, that you, that you want to figure out. Mm -hmm. And, and part of that is if, if, is my temptation and my sinful flesh to want to control things yeah. is to want to justify self. Mm -hmm. It's to want to uh, get a hold of it, uh, to be my own God. <laughs> and that's, that's exactly uh, why that's always going to be a struggle to us, this tension between faith and reason will continue as long as we're in sinful flesh. And so, uh, you know, the, the only way to deal with it rightly is, is that it would be put to death, my mm -hmm. natural reason in that sense, that it might be uh, something that benefits uh, my neighbor as the new man in Christ. That's such a really good point. You, you you sort of overlook how quickly we as sinners look for loopholes in the system, try and game the system. Like this is actually why I want to think about the rules. It's only so I can figure out a way to make them work better for me. Um, when I'm actually being the best husband, the best father, the best pastor, I'm not actually overthinking how can I make how can I game the system. I'm actually just sort of focused on the simplicity of how do I serve. Um, and, and that doesn't mean be dumb. Like if you're a brain surgeon or a rocket no, no, scientist, no, no. you're going to need to do math. I can't do, but at the same time, um, if, if all you're trying to do in, in this reason to, to make it all make sense is to figure out how to 
how to game the system, how to not get caught by it. Well, do you have a God who wants to catch you or a God who, who died to forgive you? No, absolutely. And, and that's the thing is that, uh, you know, now, I, now I'm free to mm. not try to get control of things, right? And now I'm free to, to actually want to use my brain in a way that's meaningful, right? Uh, to, to study the scripture or whatever. So we had the wrong question. How do I make all this make sense? What's, what's maybe the right question then? And, and what's the right answer? Um, maybe is, is in, in what way does, does faith inform my thinking? Yeah, I like that. And, and, and the answer is? Well, and the answer is that in service of God and neighbor. Right. <laughs> Isn't that really what it is? It's just in that sense, it's sort of the well, I want to do the Ten Commandments. I want to do them. I don't have mm. to do them. I'm free. Right. Uh, Christ fulfilled them for me, and now I want to. Love it. Pastor, thanks so much for being with us on the Drive School Podcast. Absolutely. Yeah, thanks, Robert. Take care.